See, everybody has a philosophy. Can y'all hear me? Repeat that. A teacher's philosophy is, I may not make a lot of money. I'm going to have to deal with some parents who think their kids are geniuses and their kid is a brat. I, I know that. I know I'm not going to have the highest uh, salary in the country. I know that. I know I have to deal with some parents who think my job is to raise theirs every day. I know that. But if I can just reach three of these kids, it was all what? It's all worth it. That's the teacher philosophy. If, they can, if we can reach three of them, because that's going to permeate, and her legacy or his legacy will live forever through these beautiful children. They can't reach everybody. A teacher knows that. I know that I ain't going to reach all of y'all. I know all of us, our relationship ain't going to last forever. I know that, because I got my philosophy. Just like a teacher knows, all the children ain't going to make it. A drug dealer philosophy. I'm going to get some money. I may hurt some people to do it, so people might try to hurt me to get it. But if I'm a kingpin, I'm going to ride in this Ferrari, in this Lamborghini, until the wheels fall off, because I know the feds are coming. That's the philosophy. They'll tell you, don't even get in this game if you can't do 25. Don't even get in. Don't, look, they'll tell the young OGs, look, man, I don't want you to do this, but I know you're looking at me, but don't get in this game if you ain't prepared to do 10 to 25 and sometimes an L. Then people think they're ready to get in it till they get in it. Then they want to start snitching on everybody in it. Ain't no honor among thieves. So a drug dealer say, look, I'm going to get in. I'm a, and they all say I'm going to eventually get what? Out. I'm talking about high level now. We're talking high level. We ain't talking about the little crackhead on the corner talking about what you need. You know. I mean, uh, the, pedal, the peddler. I'm talking about high level. High level. They getting in, and they always think they getting out. But the allure, the philosophy, the street philosophy is established, but the exit plan ain't often established. So they get life sentences. Because their attitude is I'm going to do this for a little while. Then they take the actions to move up the ladder. Every, everything has a ladder. You got to get your connect, who's getting it for basically nothing, to give it to you and break it down. Never sold drugs, know a lot of them. <laughs> they start getting a lot of positive what? Results. Then the thought that I'm going to leave one day starts changing. Because now you get so high up, the, Mexi the Mexican connect don't let you out. <laughs> What, you mean you leaving? No, no, you can't leave. We're making too much money off your franchise. So now your thoughts start changing. Wait a minute, you'll kill my kids? Yeah. Like, 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 like dust off furniture? You mean tell me you'll come in and my whole family if I get out? Yeah, yeah. Well, we thought you knew that when you got in, Brian. No, 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 we had two different philosophies. <laughs> You don't pull out this, man. No, no, no. Kill these bricks back. No, 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 no. You done moved up the food chain. You did everything it took. That's the drug dealer's philosophy. You get in, you doing life. Be, be willing to accept that now. Make sense? An employee philosophy, a W-2 mentality. I'm going to work just enough. Your boss philosophy. We going to pay you just enough. <laughs> so if I'm going to work just enough and you're going to pay me just enough, the philosophy is which one of us going to last the longest? See, that's why in business and especially in network marketing, the field and corporate often has an antagonistic relationship. Because the field is saying big dreams, big goal, big house, big car, travel the world. But corporate is often going, hold up, chill out. We got to do proper. So you're like, hold on, I got big vision. Y'all taught me all this stuff. Yeah, but we got to stay in business. 
But no, I'm trying to do everything you say. No, but. But I thought I was supposed to be free to fly and this day, uh, 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 because we got to keep it down. So in companies, a lot of times your boss on the job is trying to figure out if your salary too what? Too much. Mm -hmm. Paying too much. We don't need to pay them all that to screw in the light bulb. And you like, man, I'm trying to get a new house. They like, hold up. We, uh, uh, you just right now need to be in the apartment because we got to stay profitable. They're trying to keep your salary down. So there's an antagonistic relationship because the boss, employer, and employee had two different ones. That's why your life being affected because the philosophy of the two entities is different. When I was at work on a job, I discovered quickly that our philosophies were just off. You want me to come every day, and I don't want to be here every day. <laughs> We got a foundational philosophical difference. <laughs> I think I should be able to have Fridays and Mondays off, and you need me here three days a week, five days a week. I want three. So philosophically, one of us had to go, and it was me. <laughs> Some, that, I found that out in 90 days. I worked a job for 90 days. But you got to know that that's the what? That's the game. See, I don't try to change the philosophy. What I do is I understand the rules of the philosophy because I've been doing this 20 years. I understand the rules of the game and I establish my own philosophy. I'm sorry, because I've been doing it 20 years. So I, what I did was I said, I ain't going to fight this stuff. I just know how the game works. So I'm going to establish my philosophy and I'm just going to stand on those. And that's all I can do. That's all you can what? Write it down. Stand on your philosophy. 